Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are talking about AMC making 10 billion, banks losing over 50%, how shorts can't be helped anymore, and many more in this video. First, we take a look at this. AMC Theaters is about to make $10 billion profit by doing nothing. So essentially what we're talking about is firstly, taking a close look at the investments that AMC have done in the past. Now we're closing obviously up towards the earnings of AMC. And this is why we're paying attention to these factors. One of the things I've talked about is understanding how AMC will obviously survive, how AMC will trigger the squeeze as long as it has good fundamentals. Because we know that AMC is sitting at $4.35 right now. But no matter how much you zoom out the, the chart you know, in terms of understanding the price, it does not show the true reflection of AMC's price. Because we know at the end of the day, AMC can be doing extremely crazy numbers, but it's still getting suppressed and manipulated. But what we can understand from that is that if AMC does have good earnings it will obviously make money which will allow it to survive which means it won't go into bankruptcy which means that the shorts are still trapped and so that's why it's important to focus on this now one of the things to be looking at is in terms of the investments that amc has done in the past and we're talking about the hymc investment now i highly recommend you guys obviously go take a look at this for yourself as well as always all the sources that i put in my video will be down in the description but essentially what you can gather from this is something that we've talked about it briefly in the past is obviously with the HYMC investment and with exactly what they've done recently we know that it's very likely AMC is going to make a lot from this investment like I said always make sure you go check it out for yourself I don't want to take the credit because you guys know where this is obviously coming from another thing is analyst raises a GME price target to $25. I remember the battle for $25, man. Glad to see at least one Wall Street crony sees the deep value here. So another thing, so we've seen how AMC is performing. We've seen how they're reacting to the industry, the theater industry. So AMC will definitely be affected. Another thing that we're seeing right now is the raising target price for GME. Now, something that we have to understand from this is that something we can agree on or agree on is that the squeeze is inevitable. We know that the squeeze will happen. It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of when is this going to happen, not a if, if this is going to happen. But one of the biggest part is obviously understanding is that what's actually happening. And so the very fact we are seeing the price targets right now to raise for GME, we are seeing the price targets to raise for the overall theater industry. That itself is one indication of understanding how things are going towards the retail investors way one of the things that in general is obviously wanting our investment prices to go up and we know that and we want to know that we are obviously investing in a quality company now whilst the price may not reflect that like we said because we've never seen real price discovery it may look like it doesn't reflect we are in a good investment we understand that from everything that's going on that amc is a good investment that gme is a good investment and the very fact that we are finally seeing price targets and we are seeing these analysts really realizing where the value is where the deep value is you know then we understand that this is what we've invested in now like always we shouldn't be swayed by anything and make sure you do your own due diligence none of this is ever financial advice do take a grain of salt like i said none of the things that we you know we should never be swayed by other people's opinions we shouldn't sell our shares just because a stock analyst has given it a low price target but it allows us to understand in terms of what do they think of the industry but like i said there are many factors indicating whether this is a good investment and not just what an analyst from a institution thinks furthermore let's take a look at the worrying problem in the market right now so yesterday we've obviously talked about you know in terms of what the worrying problem the e-liquidity issues that is of course up and coming and you can even see here U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said that the fraud in the banking system is becoming a huge problem. So this is already foreshadowing what's happened. This is already highlighting exactly what we've been talking about. But on top of that is that you can see here in 2024, 50 banks faced unrealized losses on their investment security portfolios that surpassed 50% of their equity capital. So meaning in unrealized losses, they've essentially lost over 50% of their equity. Now, what's interesting about this is that like we talked about, normally people would be cutting out their losses, but you can see for banks, because there's still unrealized losses and what we've seen on the earnings, 
in terms of what we've talked about in the past you can see that on the earnings sheet it still says that they are making profit that's because until they realize it it won't be on the sheet so whilst these banks are showing all of these good earnings good fundamentals you know they're good investments that they're making really understand is that they are losing over 50 percent of the equity capital in unrealized losses and that's the deadly part and now this is the same thing that we've talked about yes we've seen these short sellers say that they are making money when you take a look at citadel when you take a look at virtue but remember that's because on their earnings on their finances they're not showing the unrealized losses they're always saying they're realized profit and something to note is that yes you could have realized two billion profit but if you still have an unrealized loss of over five billion dollars then really you're not making money but you're just showing it like you are making money and that's exactly what they are doing that's the whole point of prolonging this whole process and i think this is a very clear example of understanding exactly what is going on now furthermore you can also see breaking news swiss finance minister says that the country's banks have exhausted public goodwill and taxpayers can't pay for the misconduct of banks Things are getting real now. So once again, we're going back towards this whole Credit Suisse, this UBS problem, and we're really understanding, you know, in terms of how serious this situation is. Now, like we talked about, the toxic swaps are something that is eating into these banks, that are eating into these institutions, and that's exactly, you know, what we are seeing right now. And so understanding this, understand that how toxic these swaps truly are, understanding you know, how this is affecting the banks. Like you said, this is just a, a game of time. This is a tug of war between the retail and the institutions. And if we're already seeing that these banks are losing over 50% of their equity, if we're seeing the very fact that they have exhausted public goodwill and that they can't get out of this problem anymore because of the misconduct, then you can understand this how we are winning this whole battle, how we are winning in this tug of war and again it's just a matter of time and that's why i've always said and that's why again like i said most people are saying this is that it is not a matter of if the squeeze is happening is a matter of when the squeeze is going to happen and that's exactly what we are waiting on we're waiting on the signs in which i believe we are actually seeing multiple signs that are of course showing this another thing to look at is the reverse repo so this is of course another sign where we're looking at the reverse repo and you can see 171 billion dollars now we ended last week off at 150 and now we're at 171 so yes we've got not but this is something that i've said from the very start it is not a straight line down it is something that is going to go up and down but the overall is when you see that over a 60 day average over a 180 day average over a one year average is it going down and the answer for that is yes so at any point right now we could see this deplete to zero because we are seeing it in fact go down what we want to wait is for the next step is obviously for the reverse repo to drop below the sub 100 billion and that will be a very good sign of seeing their full complete depletion and that will show and highlight the illiquidity problem that's of course going to happen and of course show how the banks and short sellers will be lacking for money they will lack the finances for their short positions they will lack the finances to create more synthetics and naked shorts and that's when we can take over when we can really pressure them with our buy sentiment Furthermore, meanwhile, Buffett selling rampage continues. BAC Research this week reported that asset managers' cash allocation shrunk to an average 0.6% all-time low. So what's interesting about this is that what we are seeing is whilst Warren Buffett is selling his uh, shares, is keeping the cash for the next opportunity, these asset managers are actually increasing in terms of the investments, hence showing that the cash allocation is shrinking. Now, two things for this. Firstly, the very fact that you are seeing the cash allocation shrinking means there's a reason for why we're seeing the market go up is because they are spending as much cash as they can. But the second thing is understanding is that it's very likely that they are going to get caught up in the whole heap of this mess because the moment that the market starts crashing down which i personally believe it will again like we talked about there are many signs that are indicating this they will of course get trapped in this whole play so it's understanding that whilst everyone has been saying that the market is going to crash yet it continues going up understand that the institutions are of course putting all their money on this hence why it's going up but the moment that everything comes crumbling down the moment that everything 
everything goes bad that's when the very firms that are boosting the market up right now that are spending billions of dollars will also lose billions of dollars and that's when the whole thing will begin to of course fall and that's when we talked about the squeeze will of course happen and you guys thanks for watching the video i'll catch you guys next time